Here are 26 underrated tourist attractions in the United States. 26. Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve. Like a scene straight out of a movie, the bright poppies of the Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve in California offer a spectacular sight that has a technicolor vibrancy. The fields are kept in a strictly natural state, excluding grazing animals like sheep and cattle. And did you know that the poppy is California's state flower? 25. Center Church on the Green. Located in the downtown district of New Haven, Connecticut, this is a 16-acre park and recreation area that is privately owned. The Center Church on the Green is well known, though, but not so much the Center Church Crypt, which contains more than 130 identified remains and more than 1,000 remains that remain unidentified. The oldest stone in the crypt dates back to 1687. 24. Great Sand Dunes Did you know the U.S. has sand dunes that rise some 750 feet high? They are located in Colorado's Great Sand Dunes National Park, and they are the tallest such formations found in the whole of North America. The dunes encompass an area of some 30 square miles and are thought to contain some 5 billion cubic meters of sand. 23. Monument Rocks These impressive natural formations are found in Kansas, where they're also known as the Chalk Pyramids. Formations can reach upwards of 70 feet and have the dramatic shapes of buttes and arches. More than 80 million years old, it is considered one of the eight wonders of Kansas. 22. Vista House. This Art Nouveau structure is located in Crown Point, Oregon, and it serves as a memorial to the Oregon pioneers, as well as a comfort station for travelers. Designed in 1918, it was initially derided by members of the community as the, quote, $100,000 outhouse. At more than 730 feet above the Columbia River, Vista House offers some spectacular views that have long outlasted all that derision. 21. Anderson Abruzzo Balloon Museum Since Albuquerque, New Mexico has a yearly balloon festival, it only makes sense that the city should also have its very own balloon museum. The Anderson Abruzzo International Balloon Museum is dedicated to the worldwide science, history, and art of ballooning and lighter-than-air flight. Within the 59,000-square-foot facility, you will find many exhibits and items concerning the history of, appropriately enough, ballooning. 20. NYC Transit Museum. The subways are pretty much synonymous with New York City, and while there is a ton of great stuff to do in the Big Apple, you might like to stop by the New York City Transit Museum. It is located in an actual decommissioned subway station in Brooklyn, which originally opened in 1936. While it was abandoned in 1946, it is still a functioning subway system today. It's also been featured in many movies, most notably the 1974 and 2009 versions of The Taking of Pelham one, two, three. 19. American Visionary Art Museum. If your creativity needs a boost, try visiting this museum in Baltimore. It specializes in the display of outsider art, or raw art, much of which was created by self-taught artists. In fact, this has been designated by Congress as the U.S. National Museum for Self-Taught Art. The campus encompasses more than an acre and contains some 67,000 square feet of exhibition space, along with some 4,000 permanent exhibits. 18. Neon Boneyard Park Where do old neon signs go to die? Well, since we are talking about fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, those old signs never really die at all. They're given a second life in the Neon Boneyard Park, which is located on the two-acre campus of the Neon Museum in Sin City. More than 200 historic signs, including those from Caesar's Palace, the Golden Nugget, and Lady Luck, can be found here. 17. Providence Athenaeum Founded in Providence, Rhode Island in 1836, it is open to the public and member supported. Its origins stretch back to 1753, when a group of private citizens joined together to build a collection of books they could not afford individually. It's one of the longest standing member run libraries in the US and was a favorite of authors H.P. Lovecraft and Edgar Allan Poe. 
16. Independence Rock. Now Wyoming is where you find this massive piece of granite, 1900 feet long, 850 feet wide, and 130 feet high. The Big Rock was a well-known landmark for immigrants traveling the Oregon, Mormon, and California trails in the mid-19th century. If they reached this location by July 4th, they had a much better chance of avoiding harsh winter weather during the trek. Many of those immigrants stopped to write the names on the rock, which adds to the sense of history there. 15. Mercer Museum. Doylestown, Pennsylvania was the home of Henry Mercer, an archaeologist who had a habit of collecting pretty much anything that caught his eye. His former home is now a six-story concrete castle that contains many of his findings. In addition to collections of pre-industrial hand tools, the museum displays a whaleboat, antique fire engines, a gallows, carriages, and furnishings of early America. Mercer wanted his home to be poured in fireproof concrete in order to protect his collections from being destroyed. 14. Toadstool Geologic Park The bizarre rock formation found here might make you think of an alien planet, but they are found in our very own solar system, in the state of Nebraska, to be exact. The toadstool-shaped rock formations are located in the Oglala National Grasslands. Along with those strange-looking rocks, many fossils of large prehistoric animals like entelodonts have been found there. 13. The Castle Post. Also known as Martin Castle, this regal edifice is found in the town of Versailles, Kentucky. Construction began in 1969 on a 50-acre estate. The original owners halted construction after their divorce in 1975, and after that, the castle became a roadside oddity and was on the market until 2003. The new owners put the castle through a major restoration, and it currently operates as a bed and breakfast and can be used for corporate functions as well. The property is still for sale. The first $30 million takes it. 12. Windsor Ruins. So, you say you just love the site of ruins? Well, you can find an awesome collection of such at the former site of the Windsor Plantation in Mississippi. The state's largest antebellum Greek revival mansion occupied the space from 1861 until 1890 when a fire destroyed it. More than 20 Corinthian columns are still standing there along with the remains of balustrades and cast iron stairways. 11. Little Grand Canyon. Well, if you think of the Grand Canyon, you think, of course, of Arizona. But a smaller version can be found in Georgia. Officially known as the Providence Canyon, it is found in the state park that bears its name. The amazing site is composed of some canyons that reach 150 feet deep. An unusual attraction of this particular Little Grand Canyon is the dozen rusted out 1950s vehicles that were left in place there due to environmental concerns about removing them. 10. Jeffers Petroglyphs A 23-mile-long quartzite outcrop can be found in southwestern Minnesota that bears petroglyphs made by pre-contact Native Americans. While the exact age of the carvings is still unknown, experts do think they could date back as far as 9,000 years. The exposed surface found along Red Rock Ridge is surrounded by untouched prairie land. 9. Ruby Falls Cove. Located within Lookout Mountain near Chattanooga, Tennessee, you will find a spectacular 145-foot-high waterfall. Now, what makes this one so different is that it's located underground, underneath a city. Experts say the cave has no natural opening, so it was not until 1928 that workers discovered a small passageway while drilling through the limestone, which led them to Ruby Falls Cave and that waterfall. 8. Nine Mile Canyon Now reminiscent of Jeffers Petroglyphs in Minnesota, Nine Mile Canyon in Utah displays some impressive works of ancient art as well. The canyon actually runs about 40 miles long and is known for its amazing displays of rock art within, much of it created by the Native American Ute people and the Fremont culture. The artwork is so extensive that the location is often promoted as the world's longest art gallery. Tourists and archaeologists alike will appreciate the shelters, granaries and rock art left behind by the ancient indigenous peoples. 7. The Devil's Highway 
Now, this might not fit the standard definition of a tourist destination, but it is unique enough to include on a list here. Now, this highway, which serves the Four Corners region, was once known as U.S. Route 666, or the Devil's Highway. But because that particular number has so many arcane connotations, the route number was changed to U.S. 491. It now runs through New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. And some sites along that route include Mesa Verde National Park and the Abajo Mountains. And by the way, if you travel that route and you have a supernatural experience there, by all means, let us know. 6. Luray Caverns These unique caverns are found in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. First discovered in 1878, countless visitors have been attracted by the subterranean cavern system that features mud flows, stalactites, stalagmites, and mirrored pools. It all looks a little like Fraggle Rock when you think about it. Now, the major attraction is undoubtedly the Great Stalact Pipe Organ, an electrically activated musical instrument that is operated by a console which taps stalactites of various sizes, and that produces tones similar to bells or tuning forks. 5. Garden of 1,000 Buddhas Now really, isn't the state of Montana exactly where you would expect to find a spiritual retreat filled with statues of Buddha? It's located inside the Flathead Indian Reservation in Montana and offers an amazing sight. The 750 square foot monument area has a surrounding garden that is spread across 10 acres. Still under construction, the site will eventually contain a thousand statues and is intended to be a pilgrimage destination for the Western Hemisphere. 4. Enchanted Highway Constructed along a 32-mile stretch of a two-lane highway in North Dakota, you will find the world's largest collection of sculptures made out of scrap metal. A local artist started the project in 1989, and it includes depictions of various animals, farmers, and even dinosaurs. 3. The Ape Cave. Did you know that the longest continuous lava tube in the continental U.S. is found in Washington State? Located south of Mount St. Helens in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, it's a popular hiking destination and offers some spectacular views. Some visitors say they've even spotted Bigfoot in the vicinity of Ape Cave, so do keep an eye out. 2. Grotto of the Redemption Now, Iowa might be one of the last places where you would expect to find an elaborate grotto of this sort, but West Bend contains the world's largest man-made grotto. It's actually a combination of nine grottos that depict the life of Jesus. The huge collection of minerals, petrifications, and fossils is valued at more than $4 million, and the grotto receives more than 100,000 visitors every year. One, Monument Valley. Now, any fan of classic Western movies will likely recognize these majestic landscapes in Arizona. They are pretty much synonymous with the open range and the Wild West. Monument Valley is located around 315 miles from Phoenix near the Four Corners area, and it's well worth the trip because it's tough to take a bad picture here. A 13-mile scenic loop offers an amazing drive and plenty of opportunities for taking great pictures. And you likely recognize the distinctive Colorado Plateau. That is a collection of sandstone buttes made famous by director John Ford when he featured the locations in many of his westerns. 